MetaHuman project from Epic Games allows you to create complete digital characters with grooms, textures, clothes, everything included, even animation, with just a few clicks of the button. I'm sure you've seen it in a lot of other videos, so we're not gonna go in detail what it is, but we're just gonna see how to import the MetaHuman into Unreal Engine and then further use Ornatrix for Unreal Engine to modify the groom of your MetaHuman using the Ornatrix tools and then convert it back to native Unreal hair. So first thing you need to do is go to the MetaHuman website and then launch the MetaHuman app. It may take a while for this app to launch because it's on the request first come first serve basis, but once it's up, you will get this uh, create meta human menu. I'm going to scroll down and pick one of these presets that are already created for you. I will select this Glenda preset. And then when I do that, I can alt click to rotate and uh, further study and look at this preset. I will click next to make this preset appear in the uh, MetaHuman editor mode. So here she is animated and I can go and uh, change the different attributes such as the hair, including head, eyebrows, eyelashes. I can uh, change the colors, the, um, the distance between all body proportions and things like that. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to leave all of these values at their default state. So here I will go to my meta humans on the top left menu and it will actually take this character and save it as a custom meta human that I have created. Now what you need to do is to download a program called Quixel Bridge and install it onto your computer. I have already done that so I'm just going to launch Quixel Bridge on my computer. And once it's launched, I'm already logged in, but in case you aren't, you can just log in here to your Epic account. And then you go to this MetaHuman section over here, and uh, below this MetaHuman presets, you now also have my MetaHumans for Unreal Engine 4. Here we see that we have this new Glenda character. I'm going to click on her, and I'm going to use the default 2K resolution here and just click on Download. Now this step might take a little while depending on your internet connection, so we will now wait until it completely downloads the character onto our computer. Once the download has been completed, we now need to export this model into Unreal Engine. So I will just open Unreal Engine, which needs to be started, and I have taken the liberty of uh, pre-creating a completely empty scene. Once the Unreal Engine has been opened, in my Quixel bridge, I just press this export button and it will begin the exporting process. In parallel to that, inside the Unreal Engine editor, after the importing step has been completed, if you open the Unreal editor, you will now have this MetaHumans folder inside of the content view. Inside the MetaHumans uh, folder, you will have the name of the character that you exported, and there you have this asset, which you can just drag and drop inside of the scene. After I drop it, I'm just going to reset the, the coordinates of the asset to be 0, 0, 0 in world space. And I will double click it to focus on this asset. If I zoom in on the hair, you can see that we have nice high fidelity and real hair inside of the scene. If we look at the component structure, we can see that uh, this human character is broken down into various components. We have the face component, torso, legs, feet, and then inside the face, we have the various parts of the character's groom, which is the hair, eyebrows, the fuzz, eyelashes, mustache, and the beard. If I click on my Ornatrix button to bring up the Ornatrix tools, the selected component will automatically list all of these different groom components for you. In this case, we want to just edit the hair of this character. So I will toggle this button, which will convert the Unreal Native Hair asset into Ornatrix asset. And when I do that, the material slightly changes because Ornatrix uses slightly different material for displaying the hair, but also the speed of the display of the hair is much quicker, which allows us a lot more freedom when editing it. At this point, we have to use a static mesh to be able to attach the hair to a character. And right now, this head here is a skeletal mesh, so we first have to convert it to a static mesh. To do this, I will select the face component of this character, and in the mesh section, I will double-click the skeletal mesh part. This will bring up the Asset Editor window, and in here, we have this Make Static Mesh button, which I will press. And then I will select where I want to create the mesh and the default location is the meshes directory. After the mesh has been generated, I will go to my meshes directory and put the static mesh inside of the scene. 
I will again set the location of this mesh to 0, 0, 0, just so it aligns perfectly with our MetaHuman character. Inside of the Ornatrix Asset Input component here, uh, first I will click it. In here, we have this Surface Mesh parameter, which is by default assigned to None. And here I will select the static mesh that we have created inside of the scene. Now I will add the ground operator so that we are able to attach the hairs to this static mesh that we just created. And afterwards, I can use any operator in Ornatrix to further modify the hair. For example, I can add an Edit Guides operator, just zoom in here a little bit, and use any of the Ornatrix brushes to directly brush and otherwise alter the appearance of this hair. For example, I can take this grow brush and grow some of this character's hair to be much longer than it was before. And then I can further refine the shape of this new grown strands. I can also add other procedural operators on top of this, such as a freeze operator, which will allow us to randomize the hairs a little bit to make them a little bit more frizzy. Once I've done some of the modifications to my hair and I'm happy with this appearance, I can convert it back into Unreal Engine native hair by clicking the same button I clicked before to generate the groom. This may take a little bit as there are calculations made by the Unreal Engine for the native hair. And once it's done, we are back uh, to the same hair that we had before, but now it contains all the Ornatrix edits. You can use the same button to toggle back and forth to go back and create further edits. At this point, we can use this character inside a game or export it into another content editing application. You can use the same steps to modify other parts of the character's groom to further customize its appearance.